Basically, Zionist means Satan worshipper. If you want to know the one of the best paragraphs of all time, type in Yohanan. That's Yohanan 8:44 with an excellent um, uh, colon between the 8 and the 44, right? And you'll find one of the best paragraphs ever written by anybody. And it's a quote from a guy called Yehoshua of Nazareth, whom I'll be doing a video about soon. I just had to get this one out of the way and call out to those who, like Baton, have been suffering and to tell them it won't take long before these terminally bored people find somebody else to target. And hopefully you've got the one in you that's drunk and passed. And one of the techniques, if you want to avoid that, when you're ordering your food, order frozen food because they can't get the the, the transmitter chip into the frozen solid food. It's a tip. And so, basically, um, keep it to yourself. Don't tell the police first, as I've said repeatedly. And don't contact a doctor or anything. There's nothing wrong with you. It's a transmitter chip. And if you just type that in, you can see all the different ones uh, that are out there. And like I say, um, they allow the perpetrator to see what you see and to hear what you hear as it just broadcasts everything that's going on in your brain. Who knew? And they've had it for about 20 years. Muggins here only discovered it last year, you know. So, when I was released the latest time um, for basically um, typing the truth about Eve, when I was released, um, well, there's nothing else for me to know, nothing else left for me to do on that front. And I already have covered the subject of psychopaths. If you want to watch more, watch Errol on Psychopaths. You know the drill. And basically, um, to know the ins and outs of what's going on down there, um, watch Errol on Narcissism, and it lays bare these dope-sucking energy vampires and why you must, at all costs, rid yourself of them. They visit you to drain you and to trigger their supply. Ideally, the lower down that you end up, the more powerful they feel they've been in order to lower you to that extent, to floor you, to exhaust you, to make you unwell, suicidal. I'm the exact opposite. And so, like I say, spread the word, right? And what to do is realise these people are Satan worshippers. You have to be as thick as shit to be a Satan worshipper. Think how stupid you would have to be. And especially since God kicked Satan's ass and booted him out of, the, out of heaven into hell, yeah? Get out of divinity, into hell with you. You know, why would you basically side with such a loser? The answer is because like calls to like. They are of their father, the devil. Like I say, Johannan 8.44. My director's getting out of hand here. Which camera do you want me on? Fuck's sake. You just can't get the staff these days. Bugger. Right, so anyway, um, I'll have more to say in my next videos. And there's nothing more to add. So um, I'm now officially, according to the quacks, suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder because in order to finally finish off morally reforming Eve, I had to spin things in a court where I wasn't using evidence against her because it would have made her seem like a criminal and she would have went to jail. So, at the end of trying to re reform someone, that's rather, rather defeatist if she then goes to jail and loses access to her children. And so, I had to play the nuts card. So, when push came to shove, basically, I told uh, prison guards and the police that I'd swallowed a transmitter chip unwittingly and kept on bombarding them with demands because of my human rights, my privacy and my freedom from torture. Freedom. And 
They said, we can't give you a tin hat to walk about in. But what to do is contact uh, the prison nurse and she'll get you some mylar to wrap around your head. Basically, is what they meant. However, the nurse wouldn't play ball, so I just kept make, making complaints until they threw an impromptu court case, which is illegal. You have to know what you're being going to court for. And they sectioned me, and I thought that would be the best thing that could happen because it would then um, discredit me. And so the court case wouldn't go ahead. The police would just have to apologise for persecuting me, and that's exactly what they did. For persecuting me over six years, either side of me moving to Portugal, or as I call it, Lagutrop, as most of the people there are backward and racist scum. And they have their pecking order in their satanic temples as, as well. So once you know there's a secret society who are rent a mob, rent a mob, on call any time to ameliorate against their bored life, then a lot of them are, are like out of work actors and things like that as well. And they want to be invited to these um, covens, covens, and they think they've you know stumbled into a brilliant way forward with their life, but in actual fact they've found the doorway to hell. And so, like I said, um, I was able to twist things so that when they decreed me <coughs> as being paranoid schizophrenic um, for knowing the awful truth. Being able to provide them with evidence, witness statements, they wouldn't entertain them. They screamed, no, you know, we don't want this evidence to prove that you're a targeted individual, you know. And even though they knew it and were hired by them and ordered by them and paid by them uh, to continue the psychological abuse attempts, the gang stalking in a closed environment in an asylum, and that's where I went. That's how intrepid I am as a social experimenter. Yeah. Ich bin ein paranoid schizo. And so, I should name a, a disco after myself, the Paris Schizo, and make Paris Hilton the star guest. Or right, maybe not. But anyway, so there's nothing more to add. I say that again. And I've finished a, a saga, a whole era. And basically, um, I ended it as well as could be. And I've got no more videos lined up about it. Or I took down all my websites to, to show Eve that I wasn't going to expose her anymore because I believed she'd reformed herself. And so I'll keep on doing the videos, the music, the art and the literature. Um, however, I'm not going to do a website exposing psychopaths anymore. You can find out for yourself with Errol on Psychopaths and Errol on Narcissism. You're welcome. And so, to conclude, I hope you have a great time. I hope you stay strong and realise it's a climb and when you get up onto a ledge, there's a point where you can turn around and look down at all these bone balls full of shit bobbing down the river to Hades, all shouting at each other, you know, not worth the paper they're written on. When you can look down and think to yourself, thank heaven I'm not one of them. Thank heaven I'm not pissing my life away on the path to hell or the river ride to hell. And... Those people can't see themselves as others see them and basically they're, they're stupid, congenitally stupid and they're not raised properly in a culture that preaches sex education at five, yeah, suicide education at five, uh, drug abuse education at five and unsurprisingly there's a, a gross increase in the amount of suicides and people falling into all the traps set for them by the Ashkenazi who are the number one paedophile ring on earth and all I can say is fuck Satan. <laughs>